Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Eric Meal Time Show. I'm being joined by Mega Brain 6200. And we are at Osaka Station. And check this out it's a vending machine that sells. What does it sell, Mega? The lunchboxes. Bento lunch boxes, oh my gosh. And we are just getting ready to board the bullet train back to Tokyo. So this is perfect, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. It looks very clean. I've just said it to English here. Or you can use Japanese. I like how it talks to you. All right, we'll use English just for purposes of easy understanding. Select the item. Okay. Number one looks pretty good. This thing, that's it. The idea of this bento box comes from a place filled with lush green nature. It's compact and light, easy to carry around. Okay, okay, number two is this one. Kind of reminds me of like a refrigeration or storage locker or something. It's an interesting concept for a machine, the layout, right? Yeah. I mean, it's very modern. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, this is a brand new machine. So, all right, let's purchase this thing. Please use the payment terminal to pay. Okay. E-money? E-money, I guess. Okay, and it's an IC card. And you put your card. All right, that was pretty painless. Please pick <laughs> up the item. Okay. Looks good. Thank you for using This is the top. Service. One down, one to go. All right. You're up, Mega. Please pick up the item. Select the item. Let's see. They all have sold out things. So this is what's available. There's three of the steak ones. And it says this bento box containing two kinds of meat, seasoned steak with special sauce and sukiyaki simmered beef. Is that the one? Definitely. <laughs> Please use the payment terminal to pay. Thirteen, lucky number thirteen. Please pick up the item. Thank you for using our service. Wait a minute, I'm still hungry. Let's get one more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this one, this number 11. I just found a new version. I thought these were all out, so that's good. There's more. Okay. It says, a bento topped with many kinds of side dishes. All right. 11. Please use the payment terminal to pay. Please pick up the item. Oh yeah. Hey Megan, what you reading? A news magazine. News magazine? Yeah. I'm ready to eat now. I'm starving. No, I'm still full. You're still full? Yeah, actually, I'm full too. We had some snacks that we did forgot to shoot. We had some uh, octopus dumplings, takoyaki. We're just stuffed right now. So we are going to eat the bentos at home. Will you join us? Hey, we are back from a long journey, and I guess it was a little bit of a fail, wasn't it, since we weren't able to eat on the train. Yeah. Just, we were just <laughs> stuffed. Apologies for that. We really wanted to eat on the train. But hey, it is what it is. We're home now, and we've got the three bentos, plus we've got a few extra things. Should we start with the kanpai? Okay. Which one is yours here? This one. Okay. So this would be your glass. That's a cocktail. White sour. White sour. White sour. What does that even mean? Winter is sour? White sour. <laughs> <laughs> Let me what flavor? Is it vanilla? Is it cow piss? What is it? I'm having a beer. No more questions. 
Let's get down to it. And actually, we're pretty hungry now. It's just what? Three, three hours later? Okay, cheers, Mega. Cheers. That hits the spot. This is just like cow piss soda. Just like cow piss soda. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. Okay. And cow piss soda is it's a creamy, milky, and kind of tangy drink, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with the salad. We're doing the chef's salad first. And this is in Japanese? Shungiku. Okay, Shinguku. Shinjuku? Shungiku. Shungiku. Sounds like Shinjuku. <laughs> And this, in English, this is the chrysanthemum stalks and leaves. Interesting, huh? Not the flower, but the stalks and leaves. Okay. Is it going to be bitter? That's the question. Oh, mom. Oh. I kind of like spinach. No. It does have a bitterness, but that's what the sauce is for, right? It's in a white sauce, but it tastes like cow piss. Not tastes bad. Like, like a mayonnaise base, perhaps. It's good. Not bad. I will, I will, I'm gonna go for one of the stalks. I thought at first that this was asparagus when I saw the stalks. He's done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> How good was it? That's the question. You can tell if he goes for seconds or not. That was a knot. <laughs> okay, bento, number one. Which one are you gonna choose? The sukiyaki and steak bento. Oh, he goes right for the beef. It's Kobe beef. You know Kobe beef is, is popular, famous. Steak and sukiyaki, so two different types, yeah? Yeah. Okay, there we go, sukiyaki, which is like a sweet sauce, right? Sukiyaki, is that how you describe it? Yeah. Okay, we've well, we got some green beans here and it looks like some potatoes. Okay, and the, the sukiyaki, when it's over the rice, the rice becomes flavored too and sweet, right? So you've got a sweet rice on this side and then a regular standard rice on the other. And there are some, that's konyaku in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's konyaku. Konyaku, so it's a type of potato. Give you the close up of that. Oh, it's a nice looking bite. Let's do it. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is tasty. Sweet. If you don't like sweet meat, I guess, I mean, that's what sukiyaki is, right? Yeah. The sauce. Quality meat. It's thinly sliced. Mm hmm. It's nice. And what I like is that the rice is flavored. Alright, it soaks through down to the rice. Yeah. Okay. I'm moving over to the steak, Kobe steak. You don't get much, you get like four little slices, but I mean, it is a bento. That's the way it works. Oh, that's interesting. A little tough on the meat. It's like a stewed meat. Yeah. A stewed taste. It's good though. My mom's, my mom's home cooking back in the day. It's a different. very, very familiar at home taste. Right? It's different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a tough stew. It's good though. <laughs> yeah. Let's try out this potato. Oh, it's fluffy. Really fluffy. Yeah. It's kind of rare for a potato, right? In a in a lunchbox. So far, so good. Next up, you ready to move on? Okay. Okay, and this one is from where? The yeah. famous mountains from Osaka. Okay, and this is onigiri fish. There's three different sections to it. There's a, like a vegetable section or oden. Kind of looks like nimono, right? Yeah, it's because ni. Okay, and then this middle section is like the fish. Yeah. And then you have the two rice balls. So I'm starting with the, do the vegetables first. Oh, 
Green pea. Mm. Carrot. Carrot doily. The combo is good. The combo? Nice and sweet. Just seaweed. Seaweed wrapped like a present. Okay, <laughs> and then there's some meat. Meat? Mm-hmm. I got chicken. I got beef. Sukiyaki style. Okay, again, sukiyaki number two from... <laughs> It's good. That's like a shoyu chicken. It's nice though, nice flavor. Okay, in the middle section, I'm eating small fish here. Sardines. Small fish? Mm-hmm. Chewy. Like jerky. Nice. Yeah. I like them. Don't be afraid nice to try the fish, the little fish here in Japan. Well, okay, octopus next. This is a pretty good piece of octopus. Bigger than you get in a takoyaki dumpling. All right, it's a healthy piece. Salmon. Mm-hmm. So that was grilled, that's grilled salmon, right? Not yeah. sashimi. Just Here's what a good sized burdock root looks like. The gobo. So these bentos are pretty well balanced, aren't they? Yeah, there's a lot of, lot of sauce. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. Okay, so now the question is, which rice ball would you like? There's a standard sticky white rice, and then it looks like a, is that wakame in there? I'm not sure. It's a darker rice. I think it's because it's combined with seaweed. Okay. Go for it. Get in there. It's got stuff in it, but not, not really any flavor to the rice. Some sesame seeds in there. I think it's a healthy rice. Some seed plants. Is it like a genmai? Yeah, maybe. Okay. I can't tell the difference. There's some beans in there. Sesame seeds. Meh. But that's why you get two different ones, and that's a single person serving. Yeah. So, okay. That was pretty good, too. So far, so good. All right, number three. Coming up. Ready? Ta -da. Oh, my gosh. I'm seeing the octopus again. There's some shrimp. Takenoko. Takenoko. Got bamboo shit in here. Some greens at the bottom. Some mushrooms. Penny shoga. Yeah. Okay, so uh, pickle ginger. And then there's some meat, some mushrooms over here. And then of course, this is all served over a bed of rice. But I love all the different colors. And what kind of meat is this? Do you know? Is that sukiyaki again? Maybe. <laughs> Did we get sukiyaki in three different bentos? Some kind of sliced meat. But that's pretty standard to get sliced meat. And, and you know, the Osaka part of Japan is, it's pretty meat heavy, I guess, right? Yeah. Because Kobe's right there. I'm gonna do rice first. I'm gonna try the meat. Shredded beef. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's sukiyaki again. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? The best sukiyaki was the first one, I think. Yeah, that was the best. That was then because it was like the whole. That's the main thing was the meat, and I think that was the most expensive one. But they're all good. They're all good. That's yeah. true. There's some sashimis too. Oh, the uh, clams, the yeah. small clams. Okay, so there's some seafood in there. A lot of flavors going on. I like that pickled ginger. It's nice, huh? Kind of neutralizes the, uh, the palate yeah. a little bit. A lot of flavors going on. Mmm. Oh, that shiitake mushroom's nice. Mmm. The sweet sauce. The takinoko is so juicy. Is it? Oh, the bamboo shoot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this has been, what, all cooked together? So the juices kind of flow together. And basically with the bantos, it's the rice that fills you up. You can skim all the stuff off the top and have the rice at the end. And it's, basically it's the rice that fills you up because the rice is, what, two thirds of the volume, I would say? 
maybe even more. So that's kind of a marketing technique. They put everything really sliced up and really looking nice on the top and spread it out, but the, it's only like this deep and then the rice is like this deep, right? Yeah. So, but all good. I mean, at the end, if you eat a whole bento, you're going to be pretty filled up. And if you have a snack or something to go with, like we do, we have got snacks. Um, let's try these, shall we? Okay. And these are pretty standard snacks, but these are a special like flavor, regional flavor from uh, what Nagoya, I think. This is called Jagariko. So they're a potato chip that's like a stick, basically. And the flavor is, tell them what the flavor is. It's terosaki. Terosaki, which is chicken wing flavor, salt and pepper. And they're kind of dark, they're kind of like, they kind of look, they're deep fried. They kind of look like they're, what? Like greasy. <laughs> <laughs> Which typically these aren't, right? Yeah. But it's a potato chip basically in the shape of a stick. So the question is, does it taste like a chicken wing? It's got the... It's got the chicken, but like it's oily, right? Yeah. It definitely got the greasy chicken feeling. Could use a bit more flavor. It does kind of though. It does. Yeah. We just did a video on uh, the salad flavored one. There's cheese flavor, there's potato flavor. Those are the three standards. Yeah. And I guess there's some regional flavors too. Kit Kat does the same thing in Japan. Lots of regional flavors. Okay, and this other one, I'm not familiar with this one, so that, that you do that one. <laughs> this one's called Kappa Ebisen, and it's Tenmusu flavored. What is Tenmusu? What does that refer to? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I never had that Tenmusu, so. Well, there's a shrimp. I'll just try it, and we'll describe it. We'll do our best. Oh, okay, yeah, I've had these before, but not this flavor. Okay, so another branded snack, and then regional flavors. I don't know. It tastes like a barbecue mess. <laughs> I don't know. If anybody knows, um, let us know it down in the like comments. Tempura, maybe. Tempura. Some kind of tempura. Tempura. Oh, okay. I, I feel yeah, yeah, a little bit. They kind of look like the Jigatikos. Okay, so these are like I don't know, like a fluffy. On a rice snack almost? Rice snack, right? It's like a sambay. Yeah. Hmm. Nice texture. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, what else we got? We, any, we got anything sweeter? Yes, we do. Is that English toffee? Oh yeah, we got that at Christmas in California. This was my mom's favorite. She used to like the, what was it called, almond roca? It's very similar to this, so it's a, it's a toffee. Yeah? Yeah. And you've already gotten into these, but. Halfway through. It's just a giant, I mean, it's a huge container. Go for it. So, if you're not familiar with these, it says, it's got a buttery center, there's, Caramel, a creamy, chocolatey eating, blah, blah, sprinkled with chopped nuts. That's what all the good like. stuff. All the good stuff. That's what it looks like. Toffee inside. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. What? You can't just have one. That's a really nice blend of ingredients and mastery, right? I mean, yeah. the toffee with the chocolate and the nuts, it goes together so well. And there's a crunch to it, right? It's not like caramel. Toffee is, it's, it's crunchy. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect, because it gets stuck in your teeth. As top, you should. 
Yeah. It should get stuck in your teeth. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. Okay, I'm done. One more. That was a good finish. That was a good idea to pull those out. Yeah. Well, it's been a while. It's been kind of in a box, kind of away for a while. We had to get them away out of sight, otherwise they would have been gone in like two or three days, right? So we sort of yeah. hid them <laughs> in a secret place. <laughs> okay. So, that's going to do it. We've pretty much polished these things off. So the Bento lunchbox machine, the modern machine, that was a really cool machine. Yeah. And hopefully they'll start making some more and putting some more of those out. I would like to see those in every like bullet train station. That'd be kind of cool. The only thing is, I think the, the purpose of those machines is that you could buy the Bento's from them after the shops are all closed because they can do a lot more volume from the shops that are in the station. So after the shops close, then okay, you can go over to this machine and get the bentos. And then they just like restock them a couple times a day or whatever, but I think it's nice. It's a nice, it's a nice option to have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so rating time. We're gonna go one to six of your mega heads. I'm gonna go Five out of six. Okay. And for me, I've had better bentos before. They actually have a, a steak bento from one of the shops that you can, you pull a string and it has a heating element in it so you eat it hot. But actually we did get to eat this hot because we brought it home and we put it in the microwave. So we were good. But if you're traveling, you need to keep that in mind that the meat's going to be cold unless it's one of those ones that's got the heating element built into it. And it will say that on it if it does. So that's... Just a hint, if uh, you want to eat meat and hot, that's kind of, that's your only option. It's got to be one of those type. But wherever you go in Japan, there's just the bentos are, they're different everywhere. The ingredients are, are, are different, right? The way they cook stuff. That's kind of the nice thing about Japan. The food culture is just incredible, right? Yeah. There's a whole culture just built around ekiben, it's called, or train station bentos. So... I will go five out of six as well, too. Not a perfect six. It was close. Yeah. It was close. It was close. And that's going to do it for this one. So we want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment and tell us what you thought. And we will see you in the next one. So Eric and Mega out of here.